Hello, Avid Juniors. Uh, this is the video for week 16. Uh, this week has a little bit different of a schedule, as you are probably well aware, being high level students. Thursday is Thanksgiving, and so there is no school on Thursday, there is no school on Friday. Uh, the schedule for the rest of the week Monday is a normal Monday, 135. Tuesday is a normal Tuesday, 246. Wednesday, though, is going to be like a Friday. So you're going to go through all six classes and you're going to use the schedule that you normally use on Fridays where classes start at 9.25 a.m. for first period. So make sure you use that schedule for Wednesday. As far as this class goes, uh, normally we meet as juniors on Wednesdays, but we're not going to have that. So here's what we're going to do. I'm having both you, the juniors, as well as the seniors stay with me for the class on Monday. We're all going to do this uh, survey that I'm giving to both the juniors and the seniors uh, as an assignment this week uh, to ask you about AVID strategies and what AVID strategies you feel have helped you become a better student, become a more effective student. It's not really about which ones you like, it's just what's working. It's kind of like vegetables, right? Like I'm not asking which vegetable you like, I'm asking which vegetable made you stronger or which vegetable made you faster or something. So, um, We'll talk about that on Monday, but stick around for the meeting on, on Monday. Don't just put your name in or your, uh, your, your uh, message in the chat and take off. You're going to need to stick around on Monday. And then Wednesday will be like a check-in meeting. And uh, I'll go over that as well. Um, so let's check the assignments that you have for this week. So the first thing is going to be the survey that I just talked about. Uh, we're going to complete that. Uh, you can actually do it right with me in class on Monday. So you get it done there. You got that taken care of. The second thing is not something that's due this coming Monday. It's going to be due two Mondays from now on December 7th. It is a rough draft of your personal statements. And so um, I'm going to skip down to that. So the survey, the link is right there. Just click on that link, answer all the questions truthfully, honestly, and as complete as possible. The next thing is a draft. Okay, so last week I talked to you about theme and then some evidence for your theme. And so hopefully you were able to brainstorm those, put it on like a bubble chart that we made as an example and get you an idea of like, what are you gonna talk about? What's gonna be in your paper? Um, what I need you to do for the draft is to go over all the parts of this. And so I'm gonna do it here in this video so that you can watch it over and over again. Um, in fact, you know what? I'm gonna see if I can bring this up to a bigger screen. Give me one second here. Two ninth graders. Uh, that's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for the personal statement flowcharts. Give that a second to get up here. So I'm asking for a full draft um, two weeks from now. And what is that full draft going to include? If I can scroll down here quickly. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't go to um, it's going to include the intro. It's going to include your theme. It's going to include your evidence. It's going to include. Um, you know, good explanations about your evidence. It's going to include what you're planning to use the money for. Why are you going to college? And then thanking the committee uh, who's reading this to thank them for their time and their effort. And so, uh, like, there it is right there. Okay. Nicely done. Let's zoom in a little bit more so you can see it. Okay. So, this is where you start right here, your hook. You need to give me something, like I said, that gets the reader involved, that gives, like, gets them interested in you. Like there's 110,000 of these possibly going to just one college. What's gonna make yours stand out? What's gonna get them interested? So have some kind of hook. You could start off with a story of one of your pieces of evidence. Okay, you could start off with a little quote about your theme. You wanna connect the hook to the rest of the paper but you need something to grab their attention in the beginning. Then you want to kind of go over your theme. What, what are you going to be telling me about? It? What, it's like your thesis statement. What, what are you trying to prove to me? Um, I'll come back to paint a picture in just a little bit. 
All right, then you're gonna go over each of the pieces of evidence. That's this, proving your theme with actions. So you're gonna talk about the, um, the evidence that you used, and then you're going to explain each one too. So if you are trying to convince me with your theme of I'm a very hardworking person, and your evidence of that is that you've been working a, a job for the last two years to help support your family with money or something like that. Okay, I need you to explain them more. You know, what job did you get? What exactly do you do? Why is it such hard work? Convince me that you're a hard worker using that piece of evidence. So that's what you're doing down here. Giving me the evidence and then explaining the evidence. Um, where, does this, where does this theme lead? College, right? So I'm saying like, okay, so you're a hard worker. That's what you're trying to sell me on. Great. How does college fit into this picture? Well, I'm a hard worker and I'm gonna to go to college and I will work just as hard in college as I do right now, which is why I will be successful in going towards whatever career I'm planning to go towards. Okay, if my theme is I'm a well-rounded person and I give you all this evidence and explain it as why I'm a well-rounded person. How does being a well-rounded person help you for college? Well, being well-rounded, I'm gonna bring new and unique ideas to whatever I'm studying in college, as well as being able to manage my time and, and, and chunk my different aspects of my life so that I don't get overwhelmed with anyone. Okay, great. If your theme is um, that I wanna serve my community and I've given you all these pieces of evidence and actions about how I'm gonna serve my community, then how does that fit into college? Well, college is going to be this stepping stone that allows me to come back to my community and help serve my community or wherever I live, I'm gonna be you know, a teacher in that community, I'm gonna be a doctor in that community, I'm gonna be somebody who builds people up. If that's your theme, how does college fit into your theme? How does college a part of this? Because remember, you're applying to college. So it's great to say like, oh, I'm a family person. And then I'd be like, great, why are you going to college? You need to connect those two somehow. How is this like, these two going together? So how does your theme go with college? And then the next part right here, money. Let's be honest, if you're applying for a scholarship, which is what most of these will be used for, you're asking for money. Let's not run away from that. Let's not hide from that and not be like, well, you'd be nice. No, no, I need money. I need money to go to college and tell them, I need money because maybe my family doesn't make that much. Or, you know, I'm planning to go to a private university and it's gonna be very expensive, but you know, I would sure appreciate it if, if the committee could help me with that. Or I'm planning to use this for tuition. I'm planning to use this for a place to live. I'm planning to use this for food. I'm planning to use this for, to buy a new computer so I can study because uh, I don't have a computer of my own. I have to use the school's computer. Whatever you're gonna use the money for or need money for, explain that to them. That, that gets them to go, okay, I can see this person having a need. Because if your theme is I'm hardworking and you say I'm really hardworking and college is I'm gonna be really hardworking and then it's like, yeah, but you know what, I got plenty of money. They're gonna be like, I ain't giving you a scholarship. I'm gonna give it to somebody who needs it. So explain that need. And then the last part should be thanking the committee. So hook, theme, evidence, explain the evidence. How does that connect to college? Where does the money come in? And then thanking the committee in like a sentence or so. Now, the one I skipped over here is paint a picture. This isn't something you necessarily write, but this is how you are going to write this paper. You should not be writing this paper like a research report, which is absent of emotion. Okay, I, I, I understand that some of the teachers at Castle Park say things like, don't use the words I, don't show a lot of emotion in your writing. It needs to be very, you know, like stoic and emotionless type of writing. No, not in a personal statement. This is your life. If you are not personal and emotional about your life, nobody else is gonna get personal and emotional about your life. You need to sell me, you need to convince me that I, if you're talking about struggle, man, I need to feel your struggle. If you're talking about I'm a hard worker, I need to feel how hard you were working. You need to really get into those flowery, descriptive words that really make me feel what it is you're trying to say. If you're like, yeah, I'm a hard worker. I had a job and I work for my parents and I also go to school. I'm like, I ain't feeling that at all. But if you're like, I'm a hard worker. I wake up every morning at 5.30 a.m. I have to get myself ready. I have to get my little brother and sister to school. And then I gotta find a way to get to my school, work there until about three o'clock, 
Then I got to go to my job. I come back to school. I then go to my field uh, hockey practice. And then I go home, shower, and then I study for the rest of the night till 10, 11 o'clock at night. And then I wake up the next morning and do it all again. And then it's like, damn, okay, you are a hard worker. That you, see how you're convincing me? You've got to convince me. So everything you write in this paper, you need to paint a picture. You need to sell me on it. You need to be descriptive. Give me the emotion. Don't say I worked hard. Say I worked tirelessly. You know, I, you know, don't say like, um, I have a lot of work to do. I am exhausted with the amount of assignments and tasks that I have to get done every day. Just these, these descriptive words really sell your paper and it sells you as a writer too. So really get me convinced that like I'm feeling what you're feeling. That's what you need to do in this paper. So you're going to write a draft. And then um, when we come back after Thanksgiving, I'll review this all with you so that you can make sure that your paper has all these elements. But this is what you want to have in your paper. This is, this is a personal statement that wins scholarships, that gets you money. And if you don't think it does, ask the seniors, because we've got a bunch of seniors that already did this for certain scholarships. I think David got like $2,000. Somebody else was telling me they got like $500. I think another person said $1,000. It works. Trust me. You put it in. I'll guide you through it, okay? All right. So I will see you on Monday. Don't just come in, put something in the chat, and leave. We need to talk about the survey. Um, get started on your draft, but it's not due Monday. It's going to be due the following Monday. All right? I'll see you all on Monday.